In this video we'll take a quick look at upgrading from Windows 7 or say Windows 8 to Windows 10 along with our Corel Draw installations and our advanced t-shirts plugins for Corel Draw. Everything works in Windows 10 there's no issues there but we are finding that folks that are upgrading are having some issues occasionally. Now there's two ways to upgrade to Windows 10. You can upgrade from say Windows 7 or Windows 8. And when you do an upgrade, very often some of the files aren't quite syncing properly or synchronizing. In which case we have to do a couple of fixes and I'll show you how to do those in this video so that everything runs properly in Windows 10 and they're very easy to do. There's also doing a clean install of Windows 10 where you actually install Windows 10 then install all of your software then install our plugins and everything works perfectly. In this video we'll be talking about people that are running into issues running the upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10. The first thing you want to do after you've done your upgrade is you want to go ahead and open your Corel Draw and then test your advanced tools plugin see if they're all working or not. For example in my case Fashion Factory wasn't working correctly but now it is and I was having some problems with Simple Steps for Aster but everything else was working. So in order to repair those, what I did was very simple. I just went ahead and closed my Corel Draw, and then I went to uninstall my advanced t-shirts plugin so I could reinstall them. Now there's a couple of different ways to uninstall your advanced t-shirts plugins. One way is to go to your computer. You can go to your C drive, go to your advanced t-shirts folder, and here in the Fashion Factory folder, I'll find uninstall. I can double click that and that will uninstall my Fashion Factory. So I can uninstall the software and then reinstall it. I can also uninstall my advanced t-shirts plugins through the control panel. For example, I could work with Cortana if I set that up. I could come down here and click on the speaker icon, start control panel. All right, starting control panel and Cortana will open the control panel for me. Then I could come here to Programs and Features, double click on that, and then double click on any one of my advanced t-shirts plugins and uninstall them from the control panel. If I haven't set Cortana up yet, I can go to, for example, Settings here and type in Control, and we can see we'll have our control panel right here. I could click there, again, go to Programs and Features, and do my uninstall from here working from the control panel. Now once I've uninstalled my advanced t-shirts plugins, the next thing I'll need to do is go ahead and reinstall them. Now if you have your disk or you bought the DVD backup, you can simply do that through your disk. Or if you've downloaded them and installed them very often on your desktop, you'll find an advanced t-shirts folder. You can double click that and inside you'll find your products that you've installed for advanced t-shirts if you haven't deleted this folder from your desktop. You can double click on any bundle or product, go to the CD root, double click on auto run, and that'll open that product up or that bundle up so you can reinstall that from your Windows 10 as you can see here. I'll go ahead and exit this installer. Now if you've downloaded them and you can't find them, very often you'll find them in your downloads folder. And here you can see in my downloads folder, I've got my All Design Base Art Bundle, and I could install that. Now, after you've uninstalled and reinstalled your advanced t-shirts products, it's possible that you'll still have a problem because even Corel itself may have an issue in the upgrade, but that's very easy to fix by doing a repair of your Corel Draw installation. Once again, to do that, we'll go back to the control panel, we'll go through Cortana. I'll just click here on the speaker icon. Start control panel. All right, starting control panel. Once that's open, I can go back to my programs and features, double click. Then I can scroll down to my Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6 or X7, double click on the one I want to repair. That'll load the installation screen. 
Then I can select repair and then come down here and click on repair. Now I've already done this so I won't run it for the video but that'll go through and repair your CorelDRAW installation for operation in Windows 10. So it's just a quick video on how to set up your advanced t-shirts plugins and repair them along with your Corel Draw for operation in the Windows 10 upgrade. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.